North Carolina 27, Miami 24. Did not expect a low-scoring game here between these two teams, considering Miami's defense has been bleh, and, uh, and North Carolina's defense has been bleh. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke in this ball game was uh, not bad. I mean, he threw the ball just a ton. Um, going to pull up the stats here, 42 out of 57 for 496 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Uh, but Miami's running game, 23 carries for 41 yards here? I mean, I just, uh, just rolling over all of the, the numbers here, uh, Miami, excuse me, North Carolina, one third downs, 50% to 33%. They won rushing 161 to 43. They won drive points, 24 to 21. Turnovers were equal. Uh, Miami did have three fourth down failures, so those are effectively turnovers. Um, they, I, I look at this, and I just, Miami won the yardage by 70 yards, 540 to 470. They won yards per play, 6.8 to 6.6. And North Carolina was just smoother in this game, but I don't know exactly how smooth anything was in this game. This was a weird game to watch. I had it on one of my screens, which you can see behind me. Um, at, <laughs> JJ, does that just mean the offenses were poor enough for the defenses to play better? I, I don't know that I can take that from this. I, I just... I, I don't think that either of these teams is very good. And yet, North Carolina is sitting here at 5-1 and one in the ACC. Like, that's... I, I, I haven't figured out this North Carolina team yet. Uh, if they are starting to come around, maybe on the defensive line a little bit, which you can read that, you know, read into it what you will, 1.8 yards per rush for Miami. But Miami ran the ball uh, for 1.6 yards per rush against Middle Tennessee. So, how good is that for North Carolina? The fact that they can actually do it is good. Like, it obviously, it would have been really crappy... If they had uh, if they had given up like five yards of carry to a team that only ran for one point six on middle, but man, eighty two Atlantic said, "Why doesn't Miami just start Jay Garcia?" Uh, well, my gosh, I mean Tyler Van Dyke was forty two out of fifty seven for four ninety six and three touchdowns. I mean, what do you want him to do? Like, <laughs> I don't think Jake Garcia is the answer for Miami. Uh, I just think this whole team needs like an overhaul. Like, I just, uh, there's just all kinds of things. Uh, Stone Thomas takes that teams throw all over North Carolina. I don't blame Miami for sticking with the pass. No, absolutely. It's it's not it's not the sticking with the pass thing. It's that you ran 23 times for 41 yards. Like, if you're going to run 23 times, I would expect somewhere closer to, like, 75 yards or 70 yards. Uh, you know, get, give me four yards carry, not 1.8. Like, that's, that's the thing. You cannot be successful if every time you run the ball, you're getting less than two yards. Like, it just it doesn't work that way. Uh, looking at game on paper, the, uh, let's see, success play or successful plays. Da, 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 da. And so Miami was actually 54% success rate on the day. But as far as their rushes go, yeah, EPA negative 10.05 as far as running the football. They were negative .46 EPA per play on every rush. That kills you. It just does. It hurts. This was a weird game. This was a weird game. Uh, Crystal Ball has a lot to clean up there. Just <laughs> just a ton. And North Carolina is in the ACC race. I mean, what in the world is happening? Uh, holy cow, I don't like Gaddis. I think that's their issue. Mm, people have been talking about that for a long time. Gaddis is still like a, a pretty new offensive coordinator. Remember, he was the wide receivers coach at Penn State. He was the wide receivers coach at Alabama. Uh, he did help game plan a little bit at Alabama. He and Loxley famously got into a fight about that, going back and forth with each other about who was actually responsible for the game plan. And then, of course, Loxley leaves and goes to Michigan, and Michigan is totally fine with him leaving. They don't put up a fight at all. He goes down to Miami, and, and this is what you got right now. So I, I don't know what to make of it, really, but uh, but it's something to pay attention to. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.